Have you ever come across the funniest stories or charge cover in the news what? recently? When I was reading the news, I would have to keep on laughing. A 48-year-old husband managed to dope his wife and told his friend to have intimacy with her because he couldn't have reaction or erection when he saw his wife. But then his friend gave him a suggestion that he could do it for him. Yet, he also couldn't have any reaction or erection when he saw her. <laughs> Funniest joke of the day. So this is what happened based on the news. The wife and the husbands had been married for more than 20 years and both of them were about the same age. The husbands had lost a lot of desires for his wife and every time he just couldn't have much reaction or erection when lying beside his wife together in bed. So what the couple could do was only to fantasize themselves in their dreams with some other people every night. Then the husband approached his good friend who used to talk about girls and fantasize about them almost every day. Look at the girl. <laughs> big, big. Wow, so fair, so slim. Ooh. Wow, if I could have her for just one night, I don't mind reducing my life until tomorrow. Something like this, you know, which is so common for many men to talk about for their everyday pastime. So one day, the husband told his friend about his problem. Hey, bro, I don't know why that I don't have any reaction or erection when I was with my wife but my wife is still having the desire and she always told me that she had been fantasizing herself with other men because I couldn't satisfy her at all so then his friend replied ah like this huh okay if you can poke I help you poke then the husband mmm makes sense and he realized that finally there was someone who could help him to do something he couldn't do Mission Impossible could finally become possible. So one day, the husband had a dream with his wife and took her with some kind of drugs that caused her to lose consciousness. I thought possession of drugs could be a very big crime in Singapore. So the wife lied on the bed in their room and the husband blindfolded her just in case she woke up because all drugs, even for vaccines, don't have 100% efficacy rate so far. Then his friend came into the room to watch his performance and at the same time analyze his problem. Then the husband did what he needed to do with his eyes closed, trying to fantasize as hard as possible. But still, the result was his cuckoo bird still reacted the same way, couldn't stand. Then he told his friend, See, this is always my problem. You wanna help me? So the friend replied, Oh man, it's really a problem bro. Never mind, I help you and you just watch me in action. However, his friend also had the same problem too. His cuckoo bird also couldn't stand what? even how hard he tried to kiss his wife and this all his saliva was all over her body and he was trying so hard to poke inside until the wife woke up and unfolded herself and said, You're so damn useless. I was just pretending to sleep but you still couldn't do it. However, she was shocked to see that it was not her husband but her friend in front of her. Ah, who are you? Then all three of them were shocked and were seeing each other not wearing anything and their cuckoo birds were looking down, hanging, hanging, like a jelly stick. Ding, 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 ding. Then the husband told his wife, I thought this is what you want, so I'm doing this for you. Then the wife was so pissed off and told them to write a confession letter of how embarrassing they were and also how important too. So that's it. Everything was actually in the dark, forgiven, not forgotten until one day another woman lodged a police report after she found photos of herself in her husband's phone and suspected that he and others had committed the same thing against her. Coincidentally, this husband was also dragged into it and they were sentenced in court for all the offences made previously and exposed in the news. If those men really don't know what love is, then in the first place, they shouldn't get married so early or just have a divorce rather than be dragged into such an embarrassing ad until it's become the funniest fantasy joke of the year in Singapore. <sighs> what a crazy world we are living. Earn too much money until they don't know how to enjoy their life wisely and meaningfully. Oh dear. I know that you've been gone, you and me, we don't belong. It only makes me strong. I've